Good morning, Year One, and welcome to our last day of learning about Holy Week. Okay, so today we are looking at what happened on Easter Sunday. So, when you're ready, we'll be going through a story. And again, as usual, there are videos to watch. Now, parents, the main video you need to watch from four minutes in today, because that deals with the events that happened on Easter Sunday. And the other video is just a bit of fun to give you an idea of why some people believe we have Easter eggs. Okay, so this story is taken from Mark chapter 16 and it's verses 1 to 6. So after the Sabbath was over, which is Saturday in the Jewish calendar, Mary Magdalene, Mary mother of James and Salome bought spices to go and anoint the body of Jesus. Now this is after Jesus has died and has been placed in the tomb. Very early on Sunday morning at sunrise, they went to the tomb. On the way, they said to one another, who will roll away the stone for us to enter the tomb? It was a very large stone. Then they looked up and they saw that the stone had already been rolled back. So they entered the tomb where they saw a young man sitting at the right, wearing a white robe, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified, but he's not here. He is raised. Look. Here is the place where he was placed. Okay, so that's the story of Jesus' resurrection. At this point, Mary, Mary and Salome don't know what's happened to him. So why did the women go to Jesus' tomb? Brilliant year one. They went because they were going to care for his body. They were going to anoint his body with oils. What surprised them? Well, I think a couple of things probably surprised them. The biggest surprise was Jesus wasn't there at all. But they were also quite surprised to find a young man sitting there wearing a white robe. Now, often we see this as being an angel, a messenger sent from God. And the last one, what do Christians celebrate at Easter? Brilliant. It's the most important day in our calendar. And we celebrate the fact that Jesus has risen from the dead. Because Jesus rose from the dead, it guaranteed that we all will be able to go to heaven one day. Okay, brilliant. So, just going to tell you about the final task for the week. I think you're going to enjoy this one. Today, I want you to have a go at making an Easter garden, showing the tomb from which Jesus rose and the garden in which Mary and her friends met him. Try to use natural materials. If you want to include figures of Jesus, Mary or the angels, please do so. And if you can, again, if you could, sending in photographs in your gardens would be brilliant. And that's to home learners at stveronicas.langs.sch.uk. And now, as it's the end of our learning for the week, I wish you a very happy and holy Easter. And I'm sure that we'll be back again. Not next week, but the week after with some more home learning.